using Scratch on an iPad. Go to your iPad home screen and open Safari web browser. Type scratch.mit.edu in the address bar of Safari. Tap on Go button in on-screen keyboard on your iPad. Scratch website is now open in Safari. Tap on Join Scratch to create a new account. Type a username for yourself. Do not type your real name. If the username typed by you is already taken by someone else, then you have to type a different username again. Type a different username this time. Create a password that you can remember. You have to type the same password two times to confirm. Click on Show Password box if your password is not visible. Tap on Next button. Select your country from the list. Tap on Next button. Choose month and year of your birth date. Tap on next button. Tap on your gender. Tap on next button. Type an email address, where you can check the confirmation mail sent by Scratch website. You use this email address to reset your password if you forget it. Tap on create your account. Congratulations! Your account has been created. You will also receive a confirmation email, from scratch, on the email address you provided while creating the account. After finishing this tutorial, Open that email and click on the confirmation link to confirm the email address. For now, tap on Get Started. This is your account window in Scratch website. You can create new programs and open previously made programs from here. Tap on Create to make a new Scratch program. New program has been created and you are now ready to start coding in Scratch. Tap on Layout button to make more space in coding area. Use your finger to tap and drag the elements on screen, just like you would do while using a mouse, to make Scratch programs. Drag the desired blocks in coding area using your finger, to build the program. Tap on flag or go button to run the program, just like you would do while using Scratch on a computer, using a mouse. If you wish to use this program again in future, then you must save it in your account. If you don't save it, then it would be lost once you close Safari. To save this program, tap on the file name box and type a new name for your program. After typing the program name, tap on save now to save the program in your account. I will now tell you a trick to save Scratch website shortcut on your iPad. After doing this trick, you can open the Scratch website by only a single tap. 
Click on the action button to open the actions window. Find the action, add to home screen, and tap on it. Type a suitable name for the shortcut, like Scratch App. Tap on Done key on the keyboard. Shortcut to Scratch web page has been added to your home screen. Tap on this shortcut to open the Scratch web page. Now you can open the Scratch anytime with only one tap on this shortcut. Click on File menu and then click on New to create a new Scratch program. Tap on the file name box and type a new name for your program. Drag the blocks in coding area to design your program. Click on the flag button to run the program. Remember to tap on save project after every few minutes to keep saving the changes. If you want to open the programs you have created earlier, click on the small arrow next to your username and then click on my stuff. You can now see a list of all the programs that you have saved earlier. Tap on the name of the program to open it. Click on the flag button to run this program. Click on see inside button if you want to make changes to this program. Program is now open in editor, and you can make changes to this program. If you want to log out from your Scratch account, then click on the small arrow next to your username, and then click on sign out. You are now logged out of your Scratch account. After logging out of your Scratch account, you must log in again to use Scratch. Tap on Sign In. Type your username. Type your password. Tap on Sign In. Your Scratch home page is now open. Click on Create button to create a new program or go to My Stuff to open an existing program. Congratulations! You are now ready to use Scratch on your iPad.